snow out there in TV land. And now... Hey, Rocky, watch me pull a rabbit out of my hat. What have you been doing? Have you been creating havoc? Codsworth, good lord. Uh, where the hell are we? I think I may have had a few too many last night, if you know what I mean. Whew. You know what I feel like doing today, Codsworth? I feel like firing off the mortar. What do you think? Should we fire off the mortar? Alright, you talked me into it. Let's go. Alright, you're coming good. Good. Alright, so we need to fire off this mortar. So, are you ready? Now, if you recall, if I flip this switch, I'm going to fire the mortar. Okay? Are you ready? Mortar hasn't fired yet. Hmm. Wonder why. What do we got going here? Um, okay. So he's going to go over there. Is that going? Why is that not going? What happened, Cosworth? Hmm. Cosworth, I think we had a wrinkle in our plans. Let's try this again. Alright. Let's fire the mortar. There we go. Okay. Oh, we loaded it. Did we load the mortar? Yeah, we did. Is this for going? It's not going. We need more. We need more power. Cosworth, I want to fire the mortar. Let me fire the mortar. Uh, we'll do some moot fruit. Uh, we'll do some teddy bears. Yeah. There we go. Let go. Why are you not going? Hmm. Codsworth, what happened? What happened, Codsworth? We're probably out of stuff, too. That's a lot of teddy bears. Oh, those teddy bears. Holy crap. I think I know what the problem is, Codsworth. I thought I was being smart. But in reality, I was not. I swapped out this switch, Codsworth. And that was the beginning of all the troubles. I bet you... Put this switch in. There ain't gonna be no more troubles. Doon, 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 doon. Oh, hey, check this one out. Woohoo, party. Alright, are we lined up? Let's see if we're lined up. Not quite. Right there? Okay. Let's uh, 
See if we can do this again, Cosworth. Remember, I want to fire off a cannon. We're only missing one step. One step, Cosworth. Can you believe that? And hopefully it's going to happen soon. Because where are we at? Okay, so... Let's just verify. We've loaded the cannon. Okay. Cannon is loaded. All we have to do is fire it. Let's make this happen. Fire when ready. Is this stuck? There we go. Alright, that's firing. Here we go. There we go. That's what we wanted. Look at that ball go. <laughs> we fired the cannon. Well, that took a lot more work than what it was supposed to, Codsworth, but that's alright. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and take the teddy bear off here. Alright. Well, Codsworth. Unfortunately, the switch keeps getting stuck. I'll tell you that. That's a pain in the butt. All right, Cosworth. So it worked flawlessly in all of our trials. We wanted to <laughs> do this, and not so flawlessly. And we chewed through all of our stuff for our teddy bears. We can get more. All right. Shall we explain to everybody what we're doing here, Codsworth? Yes, up and down, left to right. Alright, so what Codsworth and I would like to do is we want to challenge everyone to perform, uh, to create a Rube Goldberg machine. If you don't know what a Rube Goldberg machine is, it's a machine that does something seemingly simple some seemingly simple task but does it in a very complicated way essentially has multiple uh, levels and things that it has to do in order to accomplish the one little task so in this case we flip on a switch it turns on this builder the builder builds something we chose teddy bears and it's supposed to step on this, but this switch apparently keeps getting stuck. It's not stuck now, you jerk. So the pressure plate, it trips the pressure plate. The pressure plate turns on the pitching machine. The pitching machine hits the switch. Uh, this is a on-off switch, so we have to hit it multiple times because you turn it on and then off. So what we do is the the target gets hit it turns these switches so we have this first one is set for one so after it goes to um, trips at one basically it's technically two it starts at zero goes to one one more and it trips right so when it hits to the trip point it's actually going to throw this arm which will then load the gun or the mortar okay so it throws the arm and which loads the mortar and so I have to I'd have to uh, reset everything uh, to reset the arm so that way we can move the arm back so it throws the arm which lo loads the mortar um, whatever we want in there and uh, oops Cosworth I can't get out help me uh oh I'm going backwards, Codsworth. There we go. Alright. So, after technically two um, toggles of that switch, we load the mortar. After technically three toggles of the switch, this switch throws, opens up this gate, the ball rolls down, and hits this pressure switch. 
So once that pressure switch trips, the uh, mortar fires. So that pressure switch is actually the switch that fires said mortar. So opens up, ball rolls down. We and trip fires a mortar. There you go. So that is what a Rube Goldberg machine is. Now I would like to challenge anyone who would like to do this uh, to come up with um, 14. Uh, this technically you could count this as eight. Okay, let's count how many I have here. So um, just throwing the first switch, I'm going to count as one. So you throw the first switch. That's one. This is two. It manufactures a item. It lands on this pressure switch. That's three. This uh, pitches a ball and hits this. That is four. Uh, that tripping to um, one, technically two, is uh, five. That loading the mortar is six. This tripping to uh, two, technically three, is seven. This opening up and letting the ball go is eight. And then um, I guess we have nine. The ball rolling down and hitting this pressure switch to fire said mortar is ten. So there you go. Um, we have more than eight. So that's how easy it is to get at least 14 steps, right? As long as you can walk through it. I flip the switch, that's one. That manufactures a teddy bear, that's two. The teddy bear lands on this, that's three. This turns on and hits that, four. This flips, this is five. That flips over is six. This flips over, that's seven. This lets the ball go eight, and that goes and hits nine, something like that. Anyway, all right, so that's um, all kinds of crazy, complicated, and whatever. Now, um, I was trying to decide whether I wanted you to wanted to tell you a specific thing to do, or to have a certain number of steps. I decided to go for the number of steps. I encourage everyone to make it um, as elaborate as possible. You can go well past um, 14 steps. Make it look as awesome as you can. Um, use any items that you want. Um, mods are allowed. Um, and uh, I just want everybody to have fun. So make sure that it does something. Uh, whether it turns on a light, whether it opens a door. Um, I don't know if you've seen Kevin Alibear's, uh He did a small little video. And uh, it was kind of funny because I was coming up with this, formulating this idea when he did his little video. And he was stuck in a jail cell. And he threw something and it hit one of these toggle switches or something. Turned on the ball and it hit the... Uh, hit a target and a few other things and it had to do it so many times like hit the target so many times and it would uh, actually open up the gel cell right so um, he did that and I don't know it was like seven or eight uh, different steps or something like that um, but he did one about the same time I was coming up with this, and I was like, oh, you got to be kidding me. Kevin's already made one. So Kevin, I think, will enjoy this challenge, and I hope others will enjoy it. Um, I figured it's fun. It's not your typical Fallout um, build type thing, challenge especially, but I thought it'd be fun to do something different. Um, as you can see, there's, there's things. If you have the... Um, if you have the uh, contraptions DLC with the uh, conveyor belts, you have these arms. You have a right arm and a left arm. You can set these down and um, they will move. So you have those that can move. You have different switches, right? Uh, you have the ball, uh, well, this thrower, 
and you can put anything you want in the pitching machine it doesn't matter um, you have these these uh, toggle switches you also if you didn't want to use this and you could use this and have it do something else doesn't matter but there's also the paintball guns that you could have shoot this target and uh, have it do you know something you know let that shoot the target and flip it whatever um, there's many different things you can use um, uh, you could use uh, um, gates different logic gates and stuff to um, make it do neat and interesting things do whatever you would like um, it technically has to be mechanical as in one thing forces another thing to happen so um, I uh, would not count having a, this logic gate flip that logic gate which flips another logic gate as steps um, now if you had um, this action caused this switch to flip which caused that logic gate to um, do its thing and then that caused something else to happen which caused another logic gate then that would count you know those would those would be steps that would count but one logic gate um, turning on another logic gate in and of itself doesn't count so um, the deadline for this will be um, September 30th I want to give everybody plenty of time to do this I know there's gonna be some other challenges out there and uh, different stuff like that um, this can be complicated um, I want to give you plenty of time to really have fun with it Sp um, spruce it up make it look fancy um, whatever you would like um, and uh, I hope that you all enjoy it if you would like to partake um, let me know in the comments and I will um, try to put together something where um, we can do some sort of a uh, um, you know uh, a video uh, collage of them and uh, we'll figure out how to get that done and we can see everybody's and talk about everybody's and that type of thing so um, just let me know and I hope you all have a great night thanks Bye. oh yeah I like this idea you been drinking no well ten beers hmm. oh man I'm so excited I may vomit